Justice Dahiru Mustafa, the 12th Nigerian's independent history, was given official recognition and honor as Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger, GCON, noting his rich background that eminently qualifies him for the job. President Jonathan urged him for more hard work, perseverance, ingenuity, robust intellect and integrity to uphold rule of law, observance of due process, and inspire confidence in the people. To my mind, a vibrant judiciary fulfilling its entrance as the third estate of the realm acts as a restraining influence on the likely excesses of the executive. It also provides a signal to all men that while their rights will be protected under the law, no form of impunity or wanton recklessness will be tolerated under the same laws. The fundamental value of the judiciary does lies in the manner in which it builds a tradition of respect for the law. Your Lordship, the most urgent tax with regards to the judiciary at this time is to protect and ensure the sustenance of that tradition of respect for the law. And Moses, Justice Mustafa, promised to do when sworn in in acting capacity August 29th, President Jonathan reminded him to do comprehensive reforms in the judiciary to enhance capacity, efficiency, and productivity. Looking back at the judiciary under military rule, and now that the place of the courts have been further recognized, the president said, Just as the executive and the legislation must not abuse their powers, judges are also expected to be above board. Your main task, therefore, should be to further enhance the dignity of the courts, for on that foundation rests the integrity of our constitutional democracy. Every one of us must wake up every morning confident that the judges of Nigeria will always protect our freedoms. My expectation is that all judges, whatever be their title or rank, will cooperate with the chief justice of Nigeria to make his tenure successful in fighting personality clashes and needless acrimony within the judiciary can only serve the unwanted purpose of bringing the entire institution to ridicule. Nigerian judges themselves must see the need to set their institution on a path of renewal. I will personally liaise with the National Assembly to support constitutional amendments necessary to further ensure the independence of the judiciary and improve judicial efficiency. Efforts will also be made to liaise with the state governors to ensure that state judiciaries are also adequately provided for by giving full effect to the provisions of Section 1213 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In the State House, I'm Ima Okundu, NTN News.